Okay, I would like to start out by creating an interval plot uh, for the priority services data. Uh, before I do that, I would first um, go ahead and check the data that I'm working on uh, by looking at stat basic statistics and display descriptive statistic. Select QoS and hit OK. This tells me I'm working uh, with 1,599 surveys with a mean score of 8.09 and a maximum of 9.0 and a minimum of 1.0. So now um, that I've validated my data, um, I can go ahead and build the interval plot um, by selecting graph, interval plot, multiple Y's, simple, and OK. The data that I am um, looking at um, includes the QoS scores, the SPQoS, uh, speaker knowledge, clear language, uh, quality of presentation, content applicability, event registration, and tool satisfaction. Um, and with those in the dialog box, I hit OK. And it creates the interval plot. I remove uh, the extraneous text from the plot. And I right mouse click and add data display, and mean connection line. I do another right mouse click and add data labels. And this is the mean, use the Y label. And there I have my, um, my Y um, values um, in for each of the variables that I am comparing to QoS. Um, next, I would like to uh, resize the graph so it fits a little bit better um, in the Excel worksheet that I uh, am going to be using. Um, also, I can build up the font a little bit. And then um, I can take a look now at the data and see uh, what it's telling me. Um, the interval plot basically tells you the spread of each of the uh, variables. So um, as we look at content applicability and hover over it, it shows me that the top bar um, is sitting at um, a score of 7.8, and the bottom bar is sitting at a score of 8.0. So that is the spread of all of the data points that came in for content applicability. And when I take and compare this spread um, to, oh, actually, I'm really just comparing the top, uh, the top bar, which is 7.8, to the bottom bar of the QoS score, um, it shows me that the QoS score is sitting at 8.1. So, um, so we have a 7.8 and an 8.1 basically is a three-point spread between these two variables. So there is a gap of three points between these variables, and that is the difference. Um, there, there is no point that were, there are no two points that were exactly alike um, in these two variables. So they are entirely separate, and this is what is called statistically significant. Um, the next one that we'll look at is tool satisfaction, and I'll look at this spread as well. Uh, so this spread uh, begins with 7.9, and it ends uh, with 8.12 at the, at the bottom bar. But the 7.9, we're going to compare that to the bottom bar over here, of uh, again um, 8.1, so 7.9 and 8.1 is basically a two-point spread. So you have a two-point spread um, between tool satisfaction and QoS. This again um, shows that there is no two two data points that are alike um, um, in these two sets, um, and that there is definitely a spread between them. And this is also what's called statistically significant. So these two are um, the low score drivers uh, for the QoS scores. Um, uh, and so I want to go ahead and copy this graph now over um, into the Excel spreadsheet. And it fits rather nicely now that I've adjusted it. Um, and 
I have already transposed the uh, scores in and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and we know that content applicability is a low score and tool satisfaction is a low score so I've got those highlighted and then I also would like to run a a uh, bar chart to insert a bar chart which is a clustered bar chart right in the Excel so that I get the data um, in the format that I want to see it um, in Excel uh, see here I'm going to go ahead and add the labels I can make these bold and um, also would like to uh, decrease the gap to 50 on this one okay there that is and then I could make this uh, font bold as well and there you have it uh, now this uh, this bar chart is now ready to be used um, in the PowerPoint presentation when we do our analysis uh, for um, the priority services so everything is ready to go and um, the next thing that we'll be doing is working with um, I believe the bottom box and the top box on these two items okay